Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to start the painting process on one of my uh, Rotten Jacks or paper clay pumpkins. So he's fully dry and hardened up and he's got a couple coats of the exterior black paint on him. Um, I did stick or use a real uh, pumpkin stem on this guy. And of course you can see that homemade paper clay uh, formed pretty good. I mean, you can shape it pretty good, uh, you know, to make it look more like the stem is what I did there. Um, so yeah, this is not smooth and perfect by all means. Um, and that's kind of the way you want it because this is a rotten jack. So I'm going to start by cutting out the uh, eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm using a <laughs> a box cutter from the Dollar Tree, so those are always interesting. They usually break on me, but it's what I got right now. And then, just like, yes. Uh, just like you're carving an actual pumpkin or jack lantern, you're gonna cut all, you're gonna cut your face out, and then you're gonna pull all the guts out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the rest of my uh, eyes, nose, and mouth, and I'll be right back. matter Kiki talking to the cat y'all in case you didn't know <laughs> she is talkative tonight she's probably wanting some tuna but I'm trying not to make that a nightly routine yeah about your bedtime ain't it Actually, no, it's only 11 o'clock. So y'all, it's been a productive weekend here. I have started decorating the inside for Halloween. I always start the 1st of August, or the first weekend in August, and I got just about everything done. Of course, I'm probably going to rearrange and change things here and there, but uh, for the most part, everything is out and placed. You might be able to see a few things in the background there. Have you guys started on your Halloween decorating yet? Let me know when you start in the comments.
right. It's just a matter of pulling all of that out and cleaning up your lines with the, obviously you're not gonna pull the guts out from the uh, eyes, nose, and mouth. I did cut a hole in the bottom or put a hole in the bottom. So we'll be cutting that out too. And that's where we're gonna pull um, all the stuff out. And this guy's hard as rock coming the uh, you would be surprised how durable these are I mean, <laughs> you could probably drop it a few times and it's not something that's going to break on you or chip or they are pretty tough I think this one's going to turn out pretty good. I've not done one uh, with jagged teeth like this. Alright, I think that's cleaned up pretty good. Now be careful, uh, you don't want to break off your uh, stem. So i got to turn this guy sideways. Right now, it's just a matter of pulling out all the stuffing and all the materials that you use to stuff your trash bag with. Plastic, towels, um, <laughs> I think there's some pillow cotton in here. Uh, so I'm going to get this cleaned out and then we'll start on the painting. That took longer than I wanted it to take, but <laughs> we got all the insides out. Uh, got a big old trash bag here. You want to have that handy because you will make a mess. And usually I pull the uh, the garbage bag out of here too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, the original garbage bag we started with, uh, but I think I'm going to keep it because I don't know if you guys can see see that in there but it kind of looks like the inside of a pumpkin so uh with all that texture so i'm just going to leave it i'm going to clean up around the teeth pretty good well y'all i changed my mind i went ahead and pulled that first base layer of uh you know the trash bag and the masking tape that we used um, it was just way too hard to get in here and perfectly cut cut it away from all the facial features so I just went ahead and took that out uh, I will put a couple of coats of the black exterior paint storm coat on the inside as well but let's get our first layer of paint on this guy start out with a dark orange. This one is called Burnt Sienna. So check out our face. I'll show you guys that real quick. So I think it turned out pretty good. 
Like I said, it's not perfect, but you don't want it to be because this pumpkin is rotten. All right, now I'm gonna be dry, dry brushing this first layer on. Um, I don't want a solid color because I still want my my black to show up through the cracks and crevices and give that dimension in our in our pumpkin. So I'm basically getting a little bit of paint on the paintbrush and I'm gonna um, get most of the paint back off and then I'm gonna lightly go through around and just put that first layer of orange on. Again, I'm not covering it. I'm not, you know, putting a lot of pressure on it because I want to leave that those darker places and dimension. And if you guys can see where I kind of made the shape, the pumpkin shape in the paper clay. So let me get you guys closer. This uh, indention right here, I'm not going to put a lot of orange paint down through there because I want to keep keep that shadow there. see the parts that are um, how should I word this the parts that are more um, out there <laughs> for lack of a better word um, they are starting to show up so I really want to uh, as my colors get lighter I'm going to hit those with um, lighter paint as I go along and then that'll really bring out that um, pumpkin shape again there are so many um, tutorials on YouTube again I recommend uh, watching Kathy LeBeau from Hunt on the Hill um, she's awesome and uh, she goes more into detail and depth with her painting skills. We're basically only going to use three colors, three paint colors on this guy. Again, I'm starting the first layer with the dark um, orange burnt sienna, and this is going to go pretty dark. And then my next layer of paint, I'm going to use the pumpkin orange. And then maybe this, um, this is like a golden color. I might in different places kind of um, hit it lightly as kind of a highlight. And then I'll probably be using, bringing the black back out and mixing it with some white, putting a little bit of gray in where we want that nice rotten look. And then um, on top of those places, I'll hit it with a bright white. And that will really give us the um, rotten pumpkin effect, the look. All right, so I'm just gonna get this guy painted up. First coat. Don't want this video to get too long. So I will be right back. So there's something very therapeutic, I think, when you when you're painting or making things or decorating. I think that's why we enjoy it so much. Um, is there any props or projects that you guys are working on for your Halloween display or a home hunt? Um, 
go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what you're working on. I would love to hear about it and get inspired. Let's just start a little community here. And get inspired by everyone's work and ideas. So again, on these raised areas or sections of a pumpkin, I'm putting on the paint a little heavier and then not so much in the in the deeper parts. And all of that unperfectness that we did with the uh, homemade paper clay, um, when you're doing a rotten jack, that's going to work in your favor because you can see how nice all that texture looks. And then you can also use that as a way of finding where you want your, um, your uh, moldy spots. So if a place is like real rough or real deep, that's where you're going to put um, like your grays and your whites. You might notice this other guy in the background here. That is a project I started. Oh. What is wrong? Everything's fine. <laughs> we have got to get our cat into the clinic. Uh, we have discovered that she is in heat. <laughs> So she will be getting getting fixed very soon. Um, as soon as we can get in there. In case you guys were wondering what was going on with her, that is Ava, our one of our cats. I guess nobody was paying her any attention, so. But, like I was saying, this guy, I started um, a couple years ago and never finished. Um, it's going to be a gourd boy. I'm going to make a body for him, and uh, he's going to be uh, just a figure to put out in the garden. Uh, don't really have an exact name or type of prop, he's just gonna be a little figure that will, I might put him um, with a wheelbarrow or something full of other gourds and pumpkins. So anyway, he's got eyeballs, but they're, I gotta get something to take the paint off of those. Um, and he will have some buck teeth, so. For the shape of him, I used, um, just a small ball. Uh, I think it was one of those rubber balls that you can find uh, at Walmart or somewhere like that. Um, and then I taped taped it to a, a two liter bottle to give me that gourd shape. And he will get the same thing done to him, different layers of orange, but he will not be rotten. I got the, in, or I was inspired by Kathy LeBeau again. I know I keep mentioning her, but she kind of uh, inspired me and got me going on all of this stuff. Making the paper clay for sure. I guess you could call them pumpkin people. I think that's what she ca calls hers. And they have a whole outfit. She put so much detail in them. Um, 
just layers of clothing and scarves and some of them even have jewelry it's just um, amazing what she does so like I said if you haven't checked her page out please go see her uh, haunt on the hill I'm sure you will be inspired as well Well, friends, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know, I don't have the uh, know-how or the technology to um, start part of a video one day and then the next day um, do the second half and put them together. Um, I don't know how to do that and don't have the um, the software or whatever you need to do that. So I apologize. So I am going to make this a uh, two-part video so here is the first layer of paint again I'm using the sienna burnt sienna so I will let this layer dry and see if it needs another coat which it probably will because um, this burnt sienna will go darker so yeah that is the first layer. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. Uh, I am so happy you're here and following along with the channel. Um, I hope to inspire you guys and uh, I'll talk to you soon. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment if you can. I would love to hear about your projects. And if you have any ideas for me to make. Alright friends, take care. Have a great week.